Hello everyone. Welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Vancouver, Washington. Thank you for joining me today. First, we'll take care of the housekeeping notes. All the product I use and all the dimensions will be listed below. There's a link to my online store. If you'd like to purchase any of these products, you can visit there. There's my email address. There's a link to our Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me grow in YouTube world. Um, just a quick reminder that the uh, Designer Series paper sale is still going on until June 30th. And there is a start new starter kit promotional going till June 30th, uh, $99. will get you $155 worth of product. So if you're interested in becoming a Stamping Up demonstrator, please send me an email and we can talk. And we're going to move on. So, today, I told you we'd be using Pansy Patch again. And we are. <laughs> because I've had so much fun with this. And so let me show you what we're making. This is my little Pansy box. It's just a cute little box. It's four inches by four inches and one inch deep. So it's a nice size box to put treats or a little package or gift to somebody. And it's decorated with pansies. And this is Lemon Lime Twist, which I thought was bright and cheery and made me happy. So let me show you what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna get the stamping done. And so I'm gonna get that and I need my stamp and scrub which grew legs again. Now, in the first video I showed you on Monday, um, we did multiple colors and stuff to do the pansies. Now, these are the smaller pansies. There's only two parts to the smaller pansies. And I'm gonna show you the leaves as well. So we're going to do our pansies in Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, and Orchid Oasis. And our leaves are going to be Old Olive. So, I'm gonna get do Azure Afternoon first, and I'm going to do the, oh, no, this one I liked doing the detail. It, you know, cha it changes with every stamp set, so it depends on the stamp or, if, or the set. So we're going full strength of Azure Afternoon. Then this one, I'll re-ink it just to make sure it's fresh. I'm going to stamp off And do that one. So, need this. Either that or your chamois, whichever you prefer. And then we're going to go ahead and do a berry burst. So, we'll do the detailed. This one. And these I'm just doing by stamping off one. You could use multiple colors if you wanted, but I thought they looked very pretty this way. So we'll get this one put away. And the reason I've got a paper towel is my mat is still a little wet and my step service is leaving a little extra moisture there I didn't want. This is Orchid Oasis, which I think is absolutely gorgeous as a pansy. And then this one, same thing, we'll ink it up and stamp off. You can tell it lines up really easily. Not a problem lining it up. And we'll clean that one later. Next was the leaves. I need one of each color. The leaves, I need three. Now, I'm only going to stamp one to show you because I've... This one, I like doing the background first. So I'm going to stamp it off. So like I said, it varies depending on the stamp. And so play around with it and see what you like to do. And then solid of the old olive. For this project, you need three of those. But 
I have already stamped these and cut them out. And there's a die that fits both of those in the set, so you can die cut them out, okay? But I wanted to save us some time. I didn't think you needed to see me crank the little cranking machine. So let's make our box. You need a piece of 11 by six, and this is Lemon Lime Twist. I did not change colors today because I liked it. <laughs> and like I said, it made me happy. So on the 11 inch side, we are going to score at one, six, or five and six. Sorry, getting ahead of myself, and 10. I'm going to turn around on the six inch side and we're going to score it at one and five. Now this is a flip box. I've done flip boxes before a different size. This is just a different size design. Decorate a little bit different, you know, just a little different. So we'll go ahead and burnish all those score lines. Nice. So just different sizes and different decorations and so yeah, I'll grab my snips here. We're gonna cut up there's square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square. We're going to cut into the squares and make a little wedge get my scissors turned around the right way. And guess what? The wind's blowing again. <laughs> it has been really windy lately. Seems like as soon as the sun comes out and it starts warming up, the heat wind blows. There's one side, and then we'll go around and do the other side. That is all pieces. So next we need the parts to decorate the box. I'll grab those. So they came apart. I had them all hooked together, but they separated. So just one moment so I can gather them up. tag fell off and then they all went someplace else. So this is the lemon lime twist. This is the glorious gingham paper. It comes in, I should have left this out so I could tell you this. This paper, the glorious gingham comes in berry burst, blueberry bushel, lemon lime twist, pecan pie, and pretty peacock. It's very pretty paper. I like it. It's fun. I like gingham. It has small check on this side and the larger check. I use the larger check. Now I use the larger check on the first box. I think we'll switch it and do the small check on this one. You know, we could change things. Don't even have to stay the same. So this piece is three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. So I'll change it and you can tell me if you like the big check or the little check box better. And then you need four pieces that are three and three quarters by three quarters. Yep, this is what happens. Sometimes I come in and then all of a sudden I change my mind. I was gonna use the big one, but oh, why not? Let's try it. You never know until you go experimenting, if you like it or not. I 
and it didn't matter what side as I side I chose. This is going to be the top of my box, and that will be at the bottom of my box. So there is my little checks. Oop. Better make sure I don't move him. Let him sit for a second. I know I'm crooked. So that's what we got. So we're going to start on the bottom of the box and we're going to fold these in like this. I'm going to make sure I got a nice 90 degree angle and hold that for just a second. So they all got big plans for the weekend. And tuck this one in gently. <laughs> Usually pretty been beforehand, but I didn't. And line this one up. Like I said, it's boxes are easy to make as long as you get the right dimensions when you make them. And follow my patterns. I've already done the math for you. Fold that one. This is the top. I'm getting glue all over my fingers. So I'm holding this. I'm rubbing the other hand, as you can see, to get the glue off. <laughs> This one here. Okay. So let's get rid of the glue. Now we need some ribbon. So I grabbed the ribbon dual pack because. There's lemon lime twist in here. I'm gonna go ahead and close my box up. Oh, I wanna put a little thumb hole in here. And I told you on a previous video, you can use any one. This is an old one inch that we don't sell anymore, but I'm just gonna go in here. You could use a bigger one. I'm just going in here, make a little thumb hole so it's a little easier to open once I put my goodies in. Just makes it a little easier to get it open. But any size will work. I know all of you have some kind of hole punch. Probably some of you have more than I do. So this, and this, I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can see this. It has a white, really fine white in it. It's really beautiful, nice ribbon. So, try to keep this as straight as possible. Nope, I don't have enough yet. So, we'll bring this one up and around just to bring it to it. There we go. Doing this a little backwards. I'm making the ribbon up into this one corner here. around there so it's easier to pull. Like I said, it ties really nicely. Makes nice bows. It's a little too big. Oh, I got a little extra waist here, but that's okay. I save these pieces. I have a little wet ribbon bag I throw them in because they're nice for decorating on a piece of a card. So now it's time for our flowers to go on our box. And like I said, I already cut them out. I didn't figure we needed to do all that. So 
So I am going to put dimensionals on each of the pansies. Right in the center. And then I'm going to lay out a little bouquet. And how would this one come up? About like that. And this one, I want them just a touch right there. Like that. Then I'm going to come in and add some leaves. So I'm going to put a little glow on the back. So I want leaves to go here. Now I said this stamp was two is two steps. It's actually three. You use the little teeny dot in the center, but I didn't do that. So you can see there's a little hole. I didn't stamp it today because I'm going to use these. What are they called? It had he's a back solid gems. This is lemon lolly. And it made beautiful centers for my pansies. medium-sized ones here work really quite well. To help finish off our pansy box. So that is our project for today. This is the first one I made with the bigger check. I even laid the pansies out a little bit differently. So, oh, I use the large ones on here and I use the small ones on here. So, please let me know which, let me know if you like the large gingham or the small check. Um, let me know if you like the bigger gems or the smaller gems. And let me know what you think about this project. And I would really like to know, do you want to see more 3D projects? I've, I've gotten different feedback. Some people want more 3D, some people want less. So I, you know, I always want to find out what you'd like to see. So if you have a project you want to be seen made on this channel, um, please send me an email and I will see what I can do. So everybody have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Goodbye.